in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, one of the guys from the uh, from uh, the TV thing here, because uh, the uh, radio shows you perhaps know, Simon Castle on MSNBC was explaining to me what all of this stuff is here. And they have, there's a whole, well, you, can, you can't see on the radio, but the infield is about the size of 10 football fields. And on and one, there's a big garage area where all the NASCAR guys are. They get to take their cars in the garage. And then the Bush guys, the Bush series mm -hmm, guys, mm -hmm. they don't get a garage. Oh, man. They have to work out of the back of their truck. Well, funk that. But they have, there must be 50 of these huge semi trucks over yeah. here. Man, this is the most spectacular facility I've ever seen of any kind of sport. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it is man. You know, Fred, you, you made a big mistake not coming down here. Here's my brother from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. Good, good morning, Fred. Good morning. This is, have you ever been to one of these speedways? Well, I've driven by a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I've driven by that one in Phoenix, you know. Well, the, the Charlotte deal is two and a half mile oval here, right? Mile, mile and a half. Mile and a half oval. Seats, uh, well, between the infield and the stadium. They get about 200,000 people in here. There's a, there must be 200 of these great big uh, semi-trucks down here, and man, it's just spectacular. And we're in this restaurant where... It is uh, 14 minutes till the hour, and I am Imus the Morning. We're at the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina. On our affiliate here in uh, Charlotte, one of my personal favorite radio stations of yep. the 100 or so we're on around the country, Sports Radio 610 WFNZ mm -hmm. in uh, Charlotte. We're talking to that goof, uh, Boomer Esiason, who is on uh, our program every Monday. Right. Uh, talking about uh, the Monday Night Football game, and Boomer claimed uh, on last Monday night's telecast, talking... When uh, he was talking to, uh, well, he was talking to Al because poor Dan Dierdorf now doesn't get to say anything. Right. <laughs> Which probably is probably fortunate, by the Just way. practically mute. About how even when he was a rookie, he used to scream at uh, Chris Collinsworth mm -hmm. as Chris dropped a ball when they were both playing for the, I believe, Cincinnati Bengals. Mm -hmm. Here now from Fox Sports is the aforementioned uh, Chris Collinsworth. Good morning, Mr. Collinsworth. Good morning, our man. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm good. Is that true? Boomer used to scream at you?